Hey Libra, it's in Le it's Leo with Enlightened Mystic Essentials, and today we are going to do your energy reads. Um, how it's gonna go? We're gonna get you some messages and directions from the angel and ancestors oracle deck, followed by main energies, and we're gonna clarify that with doorway gateway to spirit, right? So, Libra, the energy read is um, about energies that um, are coming your way or you need to focus on, right? And they're usually after um, following, uh, facing your fears. So, I, uh, with you all um, facing your fears, I got a lot of um, comments. Mm-hmm. And I got a lot of emails. Now, let's be clear so uh, we can have an understanding. When I do these readings, mm -hmm. do you ever see me pull from the deck? Or do you see the cards coming out on their own because the spirit is here, right? So all the emails I got was um a lot was about um Leah, is this reading real? Was it real or or were you just saying that? Uh really? Listen. One thing about me, I don't have time to beat around the bush. I don't have time to lie. Now, if you want to go back and look at your it was I think it was your energies read for last month. Now listen, I got a lot of um signs or a few signs when I did their energy read. I kept talking about dark forces. Someone is manipulating, someone is causing insecurity, someone is working with dark forces. A couple signs got that and I kept saying, it's been a couple of signs you all need to look and see what's going on. But um no one said anything about that about the dark forces and people working with dark energy and then it came out that Libra was bound up but I had forewarned you all that people had been dealing with dark energy and dark spirits to do things to manipulate or you know block signs and I believe Libra was one because it came out but Libra you're not alone so all the emails about was it a real reading hmm. and then the people who came to me for a personal reading to see what their blockage is and who was blocking them they were blocked up but these were the people who said they they had a feeling you know and that's why one thing about me you have to i can't you know answer for you or speak for you you have to you have to know how you feel if you feel like someone is blocking you or stopping you then therefore someone probably 99% of the time has blocked you you know and not everyone has to go work with dark forces to block you but people do deal with evil spirits they make double contracts yeah all of this is real and then when you get into this love and other people how they feel about you because something you may have done or something they may have thought that you have done to them people will go to great lengths to kind of like fuck up your world. So that's this is this is what it is. I don't have time to play. If I wanted to play, I wouldn't even be here. Now all those who needed my help, they came for and I helped them. Yeah. So we're going to do this energy read to see who has re surrendered release these um blockages and fears, okay? Now before we get to your directions and your messages to start this reading, you already received uh, three messages from spirit. Mm -hmm. So let's go. And all of these um, messages, they are from the light. Yeah, because spirit is, you know, of the light. So when I prayed, I asked, I said, well, spirit, you know, as a collective, I got all these Libras on my head wanting to know was the reading real? Was it fake? What the heck? I Listen, I don't, 
anyway so anyway your so the, the light message that you got the first one was um ancestor spirit i have been talking about this card yeah for months it says ancestor spirit connect to your lineage that is your bloodline mm -hmm. a family wound or pattern can be healed at this time or healed now I have been telling you all that there, there, it, it's, it's spirits here. And if you're new to my channel, Libras, welcome. I'm Leah. I read numbers, colors, and I talk to spirits. And for those who are not new and used to strive, welcome back. Right? So, I have been talking about this situation here for a long time. For a couple of months now. There, um, it keeps coming out because... There is a um, problem or an issue or a wound of, the, of your family that needs to be healed. And your family members that have crossed over from the physical to the spiritual. Like have passed on, passed over, died from this physical. And they're, now, they're, they're in the spiritual realm. They are around you and they have a message for you. But, you know. Your second um, message is forgiveness. Hmm. Forgiveness says you are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So you either need to forgive someone or someone needs to forgive you, whether it be of an action, for action, or thought. But understand the fact that Libra, if you don't forgive, you don't move forward. Okay, because the thing about it is lessons have to be learned. And when the lessons are learned, mm -hmm, then it becomes experience. And then you get to move forward. Now, the other message is because ancestor spirit and forgiveness comes out together. The one and the two. Here we go again. About forgiveness, it need, it's something within a family situation that needs to be, for, you know, someone needs to forgive a situation or action or words that have um happened in a family situation. And I mean, I'm, and I'm looking at these three cards, and I'm like, this is so perfect. Okay, so the third message you got is soul expansion. It says your consciousness is expanding. Yeah, you know why? Because Leah going to tell you what it is. And Leah going to give you the steps or tell you what you need to do to move forward. Keep it moving. Because that's, that's what it's about. <coughs> growing and moving forward. Whether it be your spiritual or your physical. As long as, it, long as it's pertaining to your life, your path, or your journey, I'm here. It says you understand the connections between all things. Yeah, and even with this card alone, when I talk about steps, this is your first step. Connecting to your lineage. <coughs> and it's not just your um, ancestors. It's connecting to yourself. Yeah, because your ancestors had to come here and learn lessons and, you know, lessons and go through this, you know, this walk of life. And in the process, they created you. The second step is forgiveness. Right? So, pay attention to the, pay attention, right? You paying attention and open your eyes and realizing the problem or the situation, right? This is how you solve the problem. This is your resolve. Forgiveness. And then your third step is uh, expansion, growing, going forth, growing. Right? So, the problem mm -hmm, <laughs> plus the solution to the problem equals, yeah, growth and moving forward. Libra. So, that is the messages that came out for you all. Okay? So, now, those are the spiritual messages, right? Now, and then let me say this again, and I'm, I'll probably be, you will probably hear me constantly repeating it because I have so many people, I mean, you watch the video and then you tell me it resonates, 
But then you turn around and email me and say, oh, I don't, I don't understand this. Or, you know, or or you have the uh, negative people who say, oh, that didn't resonate with me. Okay, well, guess what? This is for a collective. When I pray for all Libras mm -hmm, that, that are going to watch this video, I ask for the most dominant energy that needs to be put forth, put out there in your face. And then understand that if it's something that you, you, you watch this video today and it's something that's not here or it doesn't resonate or is not for you today, doesn't mean that it's not for you tomorrow. That's just like earlier. I had been telling people about these dark forces, people making, you know, devil contracts, working with these evil spirits. And next thing I know, Libra bound the hell up because Libra is not protecting themselves. And then, oh, oh, uh, I don't need to contact you, Leah. I know how to protect myself. Okay, well, guess what? If your ass was protecting yourself from the jump, you wouldn't be bound up. So, uh, another thing, you got to watch how you come at me. Don't come at me sideways, spirit. For Libra, what is the message or the direction for Libras at this time as a collective? Thank you. A shift is coming. Beautiful. Shape shifter is here. Time for a change. Time for a switch. And when you dealing with forgiveness, you create a shift. And I'm going to tell you something else, Libra. You telling somebody that um, you forgive them is one thing but you actually literally forgiving someone and you accepting the fact that you forgave them in your heart or in your head it creates a bigger shift honey so if you are still stuck in this energy of being stuck or bound or blocked you do what you gotta do to get out of that right so now you 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 have a shift it says transform and unveil your gifts transformation baby yes spirit another energy comes out over here on top of you all right face down though so this is what you don't see what you don't know you have the night here the night listen libra when this night shows up you better take heed because see, I'm going to tell you something about a knight. It says, be brave and honest. You need to stand up like a knight. Because see, the thing about a knight, a knight is trained to go and fight. So therefore, a knight is trained to go face death because they go to war and they fight battles. Yeah, just like our military or the militants. Yeah. But what? Is going on in your head because see he has a sword here Libra air sign what's going on in your head that you need to be honest about you need to speak up and speak out and then let me show you another thing about this night if you look I hope you can see because I can actually I can barely see in this car but it's there right there if you look I'm gonna try to get it where you can see it that is a teardrop coming from his eye. A teardrop is right there. It's so, it's there. You got to look. Let's see if I can get it close enough. It's a teardrop. If I can see. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. Right there. And it talks about, mm-hmm. Because when I did my reading yesterday for myself, I got the night. And I said, I'm going to dig a little deeper and find out a little bit more information. And just not, you know, stop going with the subtitles. And it was saying about how the night is like very dedicated. And when you talk knights, you talk kingdoms. And you talk empires. When I say these knights are bred and made to go to war. To face death if they die. Something serious, Libra. And he got this sword. Showing he is dedicated to the throne. Or the empire. So what is going on in your home. Or what is going on in the motherboard of your body. Your brain. Yeah. Be brave and honest. 
That's like I'm being honest. Nah. Nah. Okay. So you have another card that comes out. But this card is in reverse. And it crosses over your shapeshifter. In reverse. Here we go. Okay, upright, this card represents exchange energy to create abundance. But in reverse, they're talking about no um energy being created. You know, what, 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 how, listen, we are in the year of the Empress, are we not? For those who are, you know, know me, yeah, know Leah. I have told you about the Empress over and over and over and over. We have no time. To blame. No play. Because if you want to create your heart's desires and your goals and your objectives, objectives for yourself and your life, blockages need to be clear so you can create. And then the one card that talks about creating abundantly, this right here, the trader? <laughs> the trader is not like a traitor of like the camp or your home or you know somebody you know dealing like and um you know crossing you up or this talks about the exchange of energy for abundance yours is in reverse so is that why that shift needs to come here and is that why you need to stand up and accept here what you got going all right, let's get these energies. Spirit for shapeshifter for Libras as a collective. What is the energy of the shapeshifter? You have a card wants to fall and it went back in the deck. All right, now a woman holding a coin or a feminine holding value. Okay, shapeshift. We're going to see what's going on. Spirit for the night. What is the energy of this night? Be brave and honest. Card comes out, which you only see me take it out, right? It comes out face down, crossing the woman holding a coin. Okay, so this is <laughs> this is what you don't see, don't know. Time to take action, baby. Yeah, because don't forget that shift is coming. No more playing, honey. The night. All right, the night talks about a happy family situation. Uh, perfect. I said protecting the home. The empire, mm -hmm. the house, yeah. The night about this family. Let's go trader in reverse spirit for Libra. What is going on? Okay, the yin and the yang. It's time for a balance, which we know that, right? Because your creation of abundance is, is upside down. Or maybe who's to say that um whoever blocked y'all up don't still have some type of blockage here. You just never know, right? Let's go to spirit. I'm going to try to make this, this video as fast as I can so it won't take so long. Spirit for shapeshifter for Libra. Look at that card. This is, the, this is your card here. But you see how I don't want to come out the deck? Hidden. Huh. Transformation, baby, the swan queen. Yes. But it's not given to you freely. So is that why you got this action here? Action Jackson, baby. Yeah. Let's get it, Libra. Spirit for the night and happy family. What's the wisdom that cannot be seen in the physical but is there in the spiritual about this happy family and this night? Look at this. Libra, I can't do this. Y'all got to do something. Tighten up. And then um, when I was praying, I got Gemini's for you all. So I don't know if you, there it is. It comes out face down. I don't know if you, who's dealing with a Gemini, but something's going on with a Gemini that maybe you need to uh, address or face. Okay, so this um, happy family energy is clarified with, a, with literally hidden wisdom because you have cars that are being stuck, don't want to come out, and now they're coming out face down. You have the lady of the mirror, reflection. When you look in that water and search them emotions, you need to see you need to see something very clearly. Okay? So spirit, 
for traitor and the yin and the yang. What is the hidden wisdom that cannot be seen in the physical but is there in the spiritual? All right. Oh, you got two flips. Okay, listen. This one come out face down over your um yin and your yang. It's the wise woman of Wonderland. Let me tell you something about this integrity and compromise. This is work. She come in looking all sweet and innocent. But see, because the fact that it's a creation of integrity, compromise, integrity or compromise or integrity and compromise. Yeah, it could be the clearing of two situations. That's why I say she's work. But now you have your chest queen. Good spirit is showing up for you again. But spirit touches this card that spirit touches is this one. Another hidden message. It says, it says, drama unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. Libra. And it can be done with spirit. That's why the, another three is here. Creation of spirit. Trusting in spirit. or uh, Trusting in the, strategi the strategies of spirit to make your moves for you. Steps to happiness. Okay. So. Put that down. Put that there. Okay. So once we explain each one of these we're going to see what you're going to gain from a spiritual aspect right Libra? so let's go to this shape shifter time to switch baby With, regardless if you um need change in your life a shift is coming and um considering the fact that uh a lot of y'all bound up hemmed up you need a you need a shift now in this um picture there is a, a spiritual snake it's like invisible but it's not and it's wrapping around the, the, the wolf and the shapeshifter with the eagle coming out of his head let me see look see that look see that snake is not in a physical form it's not in a physical form see the snake body see that circle that loop you know snakes represent grounding or stabilization of wisdom Mm -hmm. And then you have an eagle or a hawk coming out the side of his head here. That is a message. And then when you talk wolves, you talk strength. You talk packs. So the shift is, is on its way. But the shift that's coming is clarifying a woman holding a coin. And this woman holding a coin is a six. Now let me let me let me explain something to you. Who this woman can be or who this feminine energy can be. It could be the mother of your child or someone who is pregnant. Because see the coin is, is held over her belly. So it could indicate pregnancy of children. Or it could be someone who is grounded in their root intellect and emotional chakra. And that's very valuable. Because whatever is in your root is going to come up. You know what I mean? And then the fact that she wears black, white, and purple. Black black represents negativity, uh, the unknowing, the unknown, um, the darkness. And then the, the white represents the clarification and the um, purification of. And the purple represents power. Power of the mind. You know what I mean? Power in the head. So... And then if you look, this black cat is <laughs> her spiritual guide. You know what I'm saying? And this, and this cat is black because it could be representing, you know, unknown forces. Um, you know, and then you got to think about how a cat moves very quietly. That cat will creep up on you or be sitting on your sofa in your house and you will never know. You know what I mean? And then, but understand that this cat has um, a purple around its necks too. But they are sitting on red chairs. So red represents blood, love, or defeat. And no one is bleeding here. So that either leaves love or defeat. So what is going on? Because see, it talks about a balance is either coming or needs to occur to a feminine holding a coin. And then when you really like dig into this car... This is the high priestess card. Uh, yeah. And you know the high priestess talks about secrets. Well, the secrets are being held or exposed. 
But understand the fact that the high priestess is a very powerful woman. So who is this woman, right? That a balance is either coming to or or it is is getting ready to occur to. So it's either you or someone you're dealing with. So then you have action. Okay? So um action talks about, you know, taking action. And then, then this is the eight. So this is the spiritual rebirth and rejuvenation. Eight is also a card of spirit. This is um a transformation card. Again. So you have transformation again within within a shapeshifter, which is a transformation. And then you have the swan queen that represents the grounding or the root, uh -huh, or the foundation, or what needs to be grounded. This is another transformation. You have three transformation cards. Uh-huh. For your first energy. This is when I say this is crazy. So listen. Let's, I'm going to show you how I see it. So, your main focal point of energy uh -huh, for February is the shape shifter. And it's saying, transform mm -hmm, and unveil your gifts. Right? So now, look. This is how it go. This woman holding a coin. Mm -hmm, considering the fact that she wears black and she's closest to this black horse. That rec represents the negativity in the darkness or whatever. Whatever this woman holding a coin needs to release as far as dark energies or forces or whatever. She needs to let it go. Because see now you look at this white horse leaving this black horse in, in the dust. In the wind. But what is this white horse running towards? It's running towards another transformation. See? It's taking action over here to this swan queen. And the swan queen represents for the stabilization of. So yeah. Maybe this woman or feminine thinks that she's balanced. And the transformation happens. Boom. And now the transformation is occurring. And then action is being taken. But it's only leading to another transformation. So whoever this is. You better hold on tight, baby. Because you got transformation. You know. And then you feeling all balanced and everything. Maybe you coming out of depression. Because black could represent, you know, depression. You know. Maybe you dealing with evil dealings or something. It doesn't matter. But you're going to get hit with a transformation. And you're going to feel <laughs> like you balanced. And before you can turn your head, blank your eye. <laughs> another transformation is coming. So whatever this first transformation doesn't shake loose, huh. trust and believe, my dear, this second one is coming in to clean house, clean what's left. So I don't know who it is, but you better get ready. So you have a six or eight, that's 14, five plus a four. Nine represents the universe. And who gives you shifts? Mm -hmm. Who gives you transformations? Uh, uh, Leo, the universe? Yeah, that's right, baby. The universe, because you can't give yourself a, a change. Yeah, even if you, even if you had a thought that you want, I just need change in my life. Yeah, who gave you that thought? So let's see what you're going to gain. And whoever this person is, let me tell you something. The ride may be rocky. Or the ride may be stressful. But you hang in there and watch how beauty is on the other side. You know, everything that you want. So allow the transformations. Allows the shifts. It's going to shake up a lot of stuff, but don't worry about it. Because everything that is not meant for you or for you is going to get shook off, left behind. And that's what you want because you want your load to be lightened as you continue on your journey. So it's either you or someone you know, someone you're dealing with. And then let me tell you something um, else, um, like advice. When you are dealing with someone who is going, in a going through a transformation... Do not attempt 
to force yourself on those people because say like this is your friend or you know or even if this is you a feminine energy or a, 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 a woman it doesn't matter say you uh, uh you used to um going out hanging out then all of a sudden you say man i just don't feel like that i just want something different that is not you turning your back on your friends and your family that is you actually being prepared to go through these transformations and it's going to be a heavy one i'm letting you know now so spirit when this shift occurs right for the woman holding a coin or the feminine holding value to bring forth a balance and this woman or feminine allows the action of the transformation what are they going to gain this is beautiful i love it beautiful <laughs> and it comes out face up crossing the swan queen the action and the woman holding the coin light activation that's what you want because that is that spark that one you know <laughs> that's that one it says shine your light yeah mm -hmm. your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear i just said that all uh, these transformations is gonna shake up and shake out and shake loose yeah and you have that one you see that one right there that's that spark because now you are um when you go through these transformations and accept what's being done in your life or on your path or whatever you will be given the one and whatever you want to create whatever you want to manifest you got to go ahead baby yes that's that green light yeah <laughs> so let's get over here to this night night be brave and honest be brave and honest but what are you being brave and honest about yeah. happy family this is a four four represents the foundation the root the stabilization the stability and it is pertaining to a family situation is that why this ancestor card is here Mm -hmm. And then when I go back over here to this um, shape shifter and all these transformations, is that why forgiveness is here? You know? So, yeah. What's going on with this situation? You want your family situation stabilized, grounded, happy. But now it says the lady in the mirror. Reflection <laughs> and non-judgment. And then in case you don't see that, those are fours. Again, two fours. So within the family, happy family and the lady of the mirror, you have three fours, honey. A four here and two fours there. All together, those fours make a 12. And it is the creation. And then look how the lady in the mirror is. Yeah, she's playing in the water, but look where her head is over here. And then she's playing in the water. And here the family is running to the water. Time to evaluate these emotions. Libra. Time to evaluate these emotions. Water everywhere. And then it talks about a home. Or your empire. Or your logic. Because I just told you that the motherboard of the body is the brain. And the brain is housed in your head head yeah family situation and it comes out under forgiveness because this don't forget you you have steps this is step one and then it clarifies that shift the shifts then you have step two forgiveness and then you have soul expansion because see everything that spirit has given you is going back to what the original messages was that spirit gave you so what is this what's the reflection what are you thinking back towards and then let's let's talk this is an eight alone eights represent spirit spiritual rebirths and rejuvenations also known as a transformation so someone 
is going to get hit. Whoever this night is that need to speak up and speak at, you better buckle up too because it's coming. And understand that fours represent foundation and stabilization. Whatever is going to happen to you in this transformation, night, Libra, it's going to happen within a home or wherever you dwell. Or it's going to happen within your head about the foundation but towards, towards a family situation. Whether it's your family, someone you're dealing with, family, something may have happened in the past. And then you got this big old rainbow up here. Rainbows represent the covenant. The guarantee. <laughs> the coming and staying together. Yeah. Why you think this family in this image is holding hands? With the feminine on one side and the masculine on the other. And the children are in the middle. Don't get it twisted. And it also talks about the blending of families. Yeah. Get your family situation together and forgive whatever action that needs to be forgiven. It says you are on the path to love, light, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. Well, why is father healing possible at this time where does this forgiveness oh i'm talking to the night mm -hmm. the, the 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 night is the move in the shaker comes and goes mm -hmm. but this night is also loyal who are you loyal to i'm loyal to my family so therefore whatever needs to be forgiven get it done spirit four libra Taking on this night energy, standing up like a knight, being brave like a knight, and telling the truth, or being honest within themselves, within their logic about a family situation, the grounding and stabilization of, and uh, reflecting and changing the emotion of the family situation. Yeah. What are they going to gain here? What are they going to gain here? Wants to hide. Let me see if you can see it. Don't want to give it. You either are mentally blocking yourself. Or it's just the environment and the energies around you. Experiencing grace. Yeah. It says, share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. I bet so. When you talk about love, it's a family situation. It's a family situation, right? And then it says, share your gifts with grace. What is the gifts that you're going to share? Leah, I'm going to be brave. That's one gift. And I'm going to be honest. That's the other gift. Plain and simple, Libra. Plain and simple. Now, let's move over here to this soul expansion. With this traitor in reverse. And I'm going to tell you something. All in all, you know, I give, you know, I give credit where credit is due. These transformations come in here to knock down some things that no longer serve or are, are no longer for you. Don't fight it. Don't go against the grain. Go against the grain and see how much hard it'll be. And then it says exchange energy to create abundance. You're what, what are you holding? Why are you holding this back? You got all this transformation coming up in here and you holding it back? Your abundance, the creation of abundance. That's why your yin and your yang is here. And uh, this is another four. <laughs> Fours are hitting really heavy and eights are too. Fours and eights, Libra. Mm -hmm. The yin and the yang. The, the, the yin is the positive energy. The yang is the dark energy or the negative energy. But it's all together the cycles of life. And you are on hold for a creation of abundance. What you got going on? Once your plate get clear or your path is clear from um, obstacles... Creating and manifesting is like the first thing you should run to. 
whether it's love, money, house, family, I don't care. Because you, 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 you're free of blockages. But then they come and say, well, yeah, Libra's going to be clear, but Libra's not going to um, create um, abundance. So what the hell is, what, what are you doing? So now you have um, the wise woman of Wonderland. Mm -hmm. And then you got spirit coming in here trying to save you again. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the thing about the, 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 chess, the chess queen is, you're the chess piece, right? So it talks about if you let spirit um, make your moves, you know, you, everything will be all right. But going towards this chess queen is the one, the wise woman of Wonderland, the creation of. You got two threes back to back. Three plus three is six. That's the balance. But you have to allow spirit to make your move, whether it's the integrity of you or a situation or the compromise of you in a situation or the integrity and the compromise. Because see... I've done readings for people. And then the thing about it is, I'm going to tell you something. When you come to me for a reading, we do a personal reading. I'm going to get all up in your business. Like, really. So, you can, like, try to hide. But usually when you're dealing with two people, this is the card that comes up. Who are you trying to issue integrity or, or, or you know, you know, act, you know, integrity. Have the actions of integrity towards. And who are you trying to compromise to? This talks about two people. That's why this compromise and integrity is here. Yeah. And then considering the fact that we talking about two. Right now what your focus better be on. Which energy is what? Where does the, the yin energy go? Or is it the integrity of the compromise? And where does the yang energy go? Is it the integrity of the compromise? And then this is the three. This is the four. This makes a seven. And seven is a number of self-reflection. Yeah. Stop trying it. Force it. No forcing. And because the simple fact that the uh, creation of abundance is in reverse. Let's see what you need to surrender, release, or accept. Spirit for Libras as a collective. I have to keep making that known. What is this traitor in reverse? What needs to be surrendered, released, or accepted about this? Traitor in reverse for Libras. Don't fight. Yep. Don't fight. You got two. You got two. Wow. Surrender your soul's path. Mm. It says your life journey has been perfectly designed for your life for your soul's growth that's why all those eights that come in at mm -hmm. the eights that you've been having embrace every lesson in every moment did i just not tell you that lessons turn into experience that allow you to move forward along your path your journey i told you that from the beginning but to some of you all i went and found this card and pulled this card out the deck and read it to you right Cause that's what my email has been saying. Anyway, surrender your attachment to results. This is when you mess up. That is why this is here. Do not create your own blockage when the way and the road and the path has been cleared. Libra. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen. Oh, you mean like this action? Oh, the action. Yeah. Or not going against the grain. Or the transformation. Okay. Hold on. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. Mess it up. Like I said. Is that why this trader is here in reverse? And then the soul expansion is what is clarified under. Your, con your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. And right now, it's a lot of understanding here. No creation of abundance. You need to bring a balance. Right? And the reason why there is no uh, creation of abundance is because you need to surrender to your uh, soul's path, soul's journey, life journey, life purpose. Yeah, I got to explain it so you can get it. 
and stop worrying about what's going to happen in the end. Get out your head. And then let's not forget that you still also have drama unfolding. Dharma unfolding. Remember, you are on, on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. I just told you that spirit coming in here to save you again. Yeah. Libra. So spirit. When Libras accept the soul expansion. And surrender their life's path or the soul's path or the life journey, life purpose. And surrender holding on to the end result. What the end going to be? And brings a balance to the creation of abundance. And allows spirit to make the moves in the integrity or the compromise. And... <laughs> And allows the dharma or drama to unfold. What are they going to gain? What are they going to gain here? You got two again. Now listen, these two. One comes out face down over surrendering to its results. The chess queen trusting in spirit towards the wise woman of the wonderland. But the other one comes out and touches the energy card. First of all, let's get this uh, <laughs> surrender disease attachments and, you know, Chaz Queen, the spirit, and the wise woman of Wonderland about this integrity and compromise. Open communication. What's going on with this throat chakra? What? Get a weight off your chest. What? Speak up with love and be what? Heard. Oh. Oh, I get it now. I get it now. Oh, I get it now. Because now I've learned the lesson that in order for me to create abundance for myself, I have to bring a balance to the positive and the negative. And I will accept my soul's journey or my soul's path. And I'm not going to worry about the end because I understand the fact that when I uh, allow spirit in, mm-hmm. To bring a balance or uh, work the um, integrity or the compromise for me. That, I, that, that Those are step, steps to happiness. Oh, I get it now. I get it now. And then it's saying speak up. And be honest and brave. Don't forget. Speak up. And forgive. Whether it be you forgiving someone or you forgiving your family situation. Libra. Now let's go over here. Trust in heaven. And what's this energy? Magician in the mirror. You need to be manifested in creating something. Because now that you have allowed and understand the fact that uh, you needed to bring a balance <coughs> to uh, create and manifest. Yeah. Spirit still coming in here and giving you help. Because now you're going to learn. Now you can go back to the drawing board. And you still get access to create what you want. Because this was in reverse. So in the end, you still came out a winner. Trust in heaven. You are safe. Yeah, you safe over here. Because I'm going to give it to you. Because I want you to understand and I want you to comprehend that I don't play games. And I understand that lives, your life, my life, and everybody else's life, Libra life, the next Zodiac sign life, is nothing to play with. Because at the end of the day, every second that we talk, breathe, see, look, smell, that is time that we cannot get back. Angels are standing close. Yeah, they are because I call all of them here for you. Not just divine spirit. But the angels and your ancestors as well, right? Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. Did I just not tell you do not go against the grain Libra? That's your energy read. And your energy read is false. It is beautiful. Being the first sign that I'm doing the energy reads for, for February. Knocking down the door. 
So you either getting unbound and shaking loose. You need to. I told you last month. Let go. But you better shake and move. And if you still feel like you, someone has a hold on you. A grip on you. You trying to figure out what's going on. Why you can't move forward. Why no abundance is coming to you. No abundance is coming to you. And, you, and they're telling you you need to bring a balance to it. Yeah. You can still email me. Ain't nothing changed. I help you. You know how many people I done help last month? They seen my video. Oh my God, Leah, yeah. Yeah. But then you got those who thought I was playing and lying. I ain't got time to come on here and sell you no false promises, honey. That's not what Leah do. Because see, understand the fact that every message that I get, that is for you or the collective. And I don't tell you what spirit gives me. Who you think is going to pay the cost for that? Me. <laughs> and not just me, but any other reader who, sit up, who sits out there and tell you some bullshit. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Not over here in enlightenment. Enlightenment of you. Mm -mm. Libra. I'm a real I, I'm real about everything I do. I don't know how to do or say or be anything else but who I am. And even for those who know me in my personal life, they'll say, damn, you know, Leah don't play. No, I don't. I don't have time to. Because, you know, I'm trying to maintain myself. I'm trying to stay protected over here. Because mm -hmm. right now I got somebody literally trying to uh, cause me um, pain and harm and suffering. And I've been trying to refrain from doing their ass in because I don't play. So I just been knocking it down when it comes. Because people don't understand who they playing with. You know, because you never know what the next person got going on. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I found out everything I needed to find out about that person. And I said, oh, shit, they young. But at the end of the day, I refuse to allow anyone to hurt me or my family. Because that's why I'm, right now I'm in this night mode to Libra. My Lilith is in Libra. And I got a couple of more. I got another two, two planets in Libra. So, you see how that works? I'm not a Libra, you know. I'm a Scorpio, but I know what Libra's at in my chart. But look how this still resonated with me. I'm doing this right now, Libra. And I'm really trying to hold back from just going all the way black. I'm trying. I'm trying because they're young. But let me tell you something. In this life, like I said before. For every good deed, there's a bad. For every good energy, there's a bad. For every good person, there's a bad person. And then you have those that just don't care, don't know. You better watch them too. So listen, that is your energy read. Um, I am giving away free readings for February. I am going to... <coughs> Choose someone from the comments who wants a reading. So you say, yeah, Lee, I want, I want to go into the drawing for a free reading. Who, whatever two or three signs that have the most number of views, I'm going to pick someone for those comments to give a free reading. Whether it's love reading, your personal reading to see what's coming towards you, who's coming towards you, what's your rewards, any type of fears and blockages, whatever type of reading. Yeah, we'll discuss that. So I just want to let you know. And be on the lookout for um, pathways, spiritual pathways. Yeah, I'm coming back again. Because people still, I need to, you know, build up my spirituality. What I need to do. Okay, you get that. Leo, help you with that too. And I just uh, posted the twin flame. Mm -hmm, for February. So it's out there. So Libra. Until next time. I am Leah. Mm -hmm, and this is Enlightened. Enlightenment of you, Libra. Spiritual, informed, guided, knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. Mystic is spiritual or outside this physical world or earth we live on. Mm -hmm. Essentials is Libra's life, Libra's path, Libra's journey, life, path, journey. So until next time, my light family, do what you need to do. Stand up, be strong, speak out. Speak out. When it comes to a family situation, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. and forgive, uh-huh, and forgive, okay. and allow, allow these transformations to come in here.
because you need them. And, and your end result, that's why they tell you to surrender the end result. You don't need to worry about the end because the end is beautiful. But that's only if you allow it and don't go against the grain. Yeah, that's just like fighting against a um, riptide or whatever. What they tell you, sw swim diagonally? Or that's like you getting out there in a hurricane or a blizzard or, you know, a wildfire and you say, I'm just going to brave the storm. Take your ass out there and see what happened. That wildfire going to burn you up. I know you supposed to be all spiritual and all. But you better use your logic. You gonna go out there in a hurricane, that water gonna blow you away, take you on, the wind gonna blow you away, you go out there in a blizzard, you gonna freeze. So use your head and do what you need to do. Yeah. So until next time, my light family, I'll be coming back um with love readings. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get the love readings out before Valentine's Day, cause you know y'all wanna be all lovey dovey, y'all wanna know what's going on. Hell, I wanna know what's going on. So, <laughs> happy new year. Happy Empress. New subscribers. Welcome. I'm Leah. And until next time, Light Family, take care. Think positive. Because when you think positive, you act positive. And key to manifesting is positivity, honey.